This is the Socratic Independent. My name is Debbie, and I'd like to introduce you to my partner, Bernard, who will join us today in right. our discussion. Right, and we'll just uh, try to hit on or highlight various topics that are going on today or maybe last week or maybe last month yeah. or maybe last year. So um, um, I don't have anything on the palette now, but I'm going to wait for Deborah to serve it up on the plate and... <laughs> We're going to start grabbing it like finger food, and and that's that. So Get a Deborah, little you, spice there. So, Deborah, you go right ahead. I'd like to start with the cable news bubble because I, it, I'm finding so many people I know who have been just swallowed up by this thing, and they're just completely unaware of what's going on in the world. It's Russia, 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 impeach Trump, and they know nothing. And what are your thoughts on this? Well, I think that people have fell into a quicksand, and uh, the quicksand, the, the, the grains of sand are made up of uh, CNN, MSNBC, a ABC, and uh, they're falling into it, and there's no way for them to get out. Um, this whole you Russian thing is... You mean the stations? Is, pardon? You mean the stations? The, the stations, people? yeah. The, um, the cable um, news propaganda arm of basically of the DNC and Hillary Clinton. Um, she's the one that drives this whole thing with this Russian narrative. Um, Donald Trump is not the acceptable um, candidate. He doesn't fit the pedigree, and they're upset about it. You know? Yeah, I got accused because I was talking about how Russia was a fairy tale. Someone accused me of supporting Trump, which was there. There was no no factual evidence there whatsoever. And since I voted for Jill Stein, I think that's kind of a stretch. But well, now with the Jill Stein, I don't know if it's so much of a, if it's an investigation or if it's just a, a d destruction of third party candidates. But because they believe that Jill Stein um, took down Hillary Clinton. Well, one of the arms that took down Hillary Clinton, she's being portrayed as um, a Russian agent. And, uh, and, and, excuse me if I'm stuttering here, but she's being portrayed as a Russian agent, and this is a, a, a complete falsehood. This thing about being painted as uh, someone who doesn't subscribe to the... Uh, Russian propaganda as being for Trump. Uh, the people that are falling for this stuff, they're creating a parameter that's built out of barbed wire and you have to be trapped in it like in some kind of concentration camp of propaganda. Well, it's just like if you're, if you don't go along with your narrative, you're a Nazi. So if you, if you don't do what they want in politics. Well, in, in this politics, case, you're a communist. You're a Kremlin agent. You're, you're not, you're not. You're a Kremlin agent. You're, you're not a Nazi. You're, you're Vladimir Putin stooge and a Stalin stooge. Doesn't need any evidence. Um, no, needs there's. Needs the accusation. Uh, but what I'm concerned about is that people are believing this stuff because they're caught in this cable news bubble and they can't seem to break out. They pay 200 a month to be propagandized. Well, it's a it's a very difficult, excuse me, a, a very difficult paradigm to embrace because at some point uh, the bur the bubble will or the balloon will burst, and people's feelings are going to get hurt and their emotions are going to be laid out there on the street and they're they're just going to have to have the strength to examine those emotions and how they were played with. Hopefully, it's not going to be too. It won't be too late because. Are you know, they going to even find out? Because well, they don't seem to be. They, even time goes clues. on, and time, you know, twenty eighteen will come up. We'll find out. Um, twenty twenty will come up, and at this pace, you you will see a second. Um, uh, Trump term. Um, he pro personally, I don't think he'll need a second term. I think he'll be able to do everything he wants to do in the first term. He'll so do the question, plenty of damage in one time. Right. Well, he's already done it already. And people, like I, I, would, I would say constantly, like, this is not a dumb man. This, no, he's not a politician, but he's been dealing with politics 
all the way from the, to the days of Mayor Koch from the in the seventies. Oh yeah, he knows what he's doing. He's very he manipulated that tax. He knows bureaucracies. This guy is a builder. I mean, he deliberately took out the mandate without telling anybody because he didn't want any backlash. He wanted well, it to he pass. He didn't want any backlash. It was close for the people, who, and he wanted that damn thing to pass. He didn't want any backlash. The biggest transfer of wealth, right, in the country from the poor to the rich, ever. Well, there is no backlash. There isn't any transfer of wealth from the poor to the rich because the poor they're not paying any taxes it's a tr it would be a transfer of wealth between the middle class and the rich How, oh, however it's not so much a, a, a transfer of wealth between um, lower classes and the rich um, some rich people will pay more they will pay more under this plan the, the, the people that are making out the entities that are making out are corporations. Okay, I don't want to get sidetracked on the plan, though. The point. Well, you mentioned the tax plan and you mentioned the mandate. I'm just, you know, I'm just. I know out it's the just view. that he snuck that by on people. He did not sneak it. Deliberately, any, he, did, he, he just said kept it he on, no. He deliberately kept it on, didn't say it. He kept it on the down low because he didn't want any static. Yeah, because he wanted it to pass. But that's not his job. It was too close. But that's not his job, to to make. To make people aware of that, that's Nancy Pelosi's job, and that's Chuck Schumer's job, and it's and the they job failed. of the press, which they also and they failed, failed. Yeah, well, because they're into this Russian narrative, they have their defined rap, um, ironclad barbed wire perimeter um, narrative that uh, they're blind to everything else. They're not doing good reporting. Anything? They're not. They don't seem capable. I mean, the more CNN gets caught lying, the worse they get. Well, that's because I believe that this 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 is a, a completely unique hist uh, point in our history. I I think that Don Donald Trump trauma he is a master at traumatizing people during this whole oh, tax absolutely. plan. During this tax plan plan debate, he triggered the media, and this is what the theme of this this particular episode is is about the media he triggered the media so much that they were not doing their job and they were just focusing on these tweets that are schoolyard bullying tactics that you learn from middle school or, or high school and it takes everybody's attention yeah away from the real things that he's right. doing the morning and Joe's, the press doesn't report on it the morning joe morning the joe don, falls apart the, the don lemons the, the chris tweets. cuomo's you know yep um, all these other people, they they can't, they can't get themselves together, to to really educate the American public, the so-called, um, uh, 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 the 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 keepers of the fourth estate. They just, they they're, they don't know how to exercise the First Amendment anymore. They, wait, they, wait, the wait. First Amendment is about propaganda, and they and they don't even see it. Yeah, but it's so so bad because we need it more than ever. Well, the problem is it gets reinforced because you actually have educated people who be totally believe in this Russian narrative that Hillary was robbed. You know, um, Russians were in the voting booths when everybody voted for Trump or they were, you know, they, you know, and, they and were going to vote for Hillary. They prevented them from voting for Hillary, you know, and, and to make them vote for Trump or vote for Jill Stein. You know, it, it's an an incredible narrative and, and they don't seem the people don't seem to be able to track down good information on the internet because there's tons of it out there right there's a so lot of so many people that are doing good I, work I, I think that fundamental, amazing work yeah I think that fundamentally people are traumatized by this man yeah I mean I have you have to admit that you know he's you know Hillary is on record in a, in a beat on a um, when she was uh, promoting her book and she her book tour took her to uh, England and she was on the BBC, she said she could have lost to anybody, just not this man. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I feel uh, that a lot of people feel that way. You know, this is a unique situation here. I mean... Uh, well, it's, it's also degraded to the point where we were given two absolutely horrific candidates 
And that's from people just voting for the lesser of two evils. And it's reached its climax. And now where is it going to go? Well, I think where it's going to go is try to suppress suppress information because uh, Donald Trump, um, if it wasn't for the Internet, he's not the president. And you got to just say say what it is. It's it's the the embracing of the uh, information age and the Internet age. He completely changed the paradigm. And that's a real threat. And that is a threat because Obama they cannot started shape it. it. He actually was. Yeah, the he he started it. He started it, but he didn't. He's not. He he doesn't have a mastery of it like Donald Trump does. Well, it wasn't that mature then either. Right. But but Trump has a mastery of this thing. Oh yeah. And, and which is a, a a whole topic in itself. And actually, yeah. in this and what we're talking about now is kind of a a survey of. Of particular issues, you know, the internet, uh, uh, the use of propaganda, the the uh, push forward narratives, and whatnot, and other things, and what we're touching on here and there, um, in this hodgepodge of a, a talk right now, are issues that we'll be talking about in specificity, in future episodes where, um, yeah, we'll, more we'll get detail. down and dirty with with. with what it's really all about from our perspective yeah all right so do you want to say anything else or you want to sign off i think i'm ready to sign off and we'll see you next time thank you everyone for listening bye-bye bye-bye